Hi, I'm Charlie Pape from Tight Lines Fly Fishing Company, and today I'm going to be talking about some real basic tapered leader and tippet terminology. Now, this seems to be a point of confusion for a lot of people getting involved in fly fishing. What is a tapered leader and what is tippet? So, if you look here at our wall of leader and tippet, there are a lot of items here and a lot of uh, numbered packages can be very confusing for people. So I'll start by talking about the tapered leader. What is a tapered leader? This is the modern connection between your fly line and your fly. So this is our invisible connection. Now the idea with a tapered leader is it is thick at the end that attaches to your fly line and thin where you tie your fly on. And with that in mind, what happens when you make a forward cast with a fly rod, the energy wants to travel thick to thin through your fly line. And with the tapered leader, you'll get that turnover. So ideally, your fly is at the furthest point away from the end of your fly line, the part that the fish can see. So that would be a tapered leader. Now, every one of these tapered leaders, whether it's a trout leader, a steelhead leader, a saltwater leader, they all have what is considered the tippet section of the leader. So this is the part where the thickness slims down and there is no more taper to it. So the last two to three feet of any one of these leaders you see is what's considered the tippet section. So if I grab this leader here, there's some important numbers on there. It says it's nine feet long and it's 3x. The x system is just an old breaking strength uh, system of mono. More importantly, it's 8.2 pounds. So the last two and a half or so feet of this tapered leader is uniform diameter 3x tippet material. Talking about tippet individually, that's what you see in all of these spools down here. So for most purposes for beginners with a lot of different types of fishing, whether it's trout or panfish or bass, grabbing a tapered leader and putting that on the end of your fly line, it's all good to go from there. The tippet section is already on there. But as you're fishing, changing flies, breaking off flies and trees, et cetera, you're gradually shortening that tippet section of your leader. That's where a spool of tippet would come into play. So this spool is tippet material that's all uniform diameter 4x mono. And that will be used to repair your leader if you broke some off and you wanted to get it back to that nine foot length approximately. So a good rule of thumb about a tapered leader that we always tell people is if you have an eight and a half or a nine foot rod for the beginner, you want your leader to be approximately the same length as your rod. That's a real good rule of thumb. And another rule to follow you always want your tapered leader to be gradually getting smaller as you go towards your flies. And as you're rebuilding your leaders here, another really important point is always going from thick to thin. So make sure you're adding thinner tippet material onto the end of your leader when you're rebuilding it to attach to your fly. And one final, final point here, a lot of uh, new, new fly fishermen will ask, you know, why can't I just tie, say, four pound mono onto the end of my fly line, kind of with that old little nail that you would stick in the end of your line. The problem there with uniform mono is you don't get that transfer of energy where it's going thick to thin. So what'll happen is you might make a nice forward cast, your fly line will turn over great, but the problem is going from really, really thick fly line to really, really thin monofilament. There's no transfer of energy there when it hits that junction. So what you'll get is a fly line that turns over and your leader will just pile up with the fly close to the end of your fly line, which is really not what you want for fishing. So hopefully this helps break down some of the uh, confusion with the terminology of leaders and tippet.